Good evening, brothers and sisters. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, we are instructed to rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Once again, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Thanksgiving is a few days away. And we as a nation are able to thank God for all the blessings that he has given us. Well, did you know that the first Thanksgiving was on November 1921? And a year prior when the Mayflower docked at Massachusetts... It was full of, the, uh, the ship was full of Protestants who believed that the England church was corrupt. Therefore, they wanted to go to a new land and, and, and make a new church. But the journey was very difficult. Three times the ship had to turn back because it couldn't handle the seas. And finally, when they got there, the winter was really hard. Disease, malnourishment, and almost all of them died. But when it seemed that all hope was lost, there was an Indian who came amongst them who spoke a little bit of English, and he was able to help them, teach them how to plant certain crops that would be able to get them through the winter. And after their first harvest, they were able to get together and have a thanksgiving to the Lord. They were able to give God thanks in a difficult circumstance. Now we have Paul that we read in Acts 27 on his way to Rome. And we know about his journey, how difficult it was because the weather was against them. And when also when everybody was about to lose hope, when, when they had no more strength, they were starved. And they haven't seen, this, like, they haven't seen the sun or the moon or the stars for weeks. And look what Acts 27, 35 through 36. And when he had said these things, he took bread and gave thanks to God in the presence of them all. And when he had broken it, he began to eat. And they were all encouraged and also took food for themselves. Amongst the storm, when they thought they were all going to die, they were able to give God thanks. What a great example it is for us. In James 1, verse 2, we read, Count it all joy when you fall into various trials. When we face hard times, we can have the right perspective, the right attitude, as the pilgrims did and as Paul. God is in control. And he is allowing the circumstance to come into our life. We can count it all joy because there's an opportunities all around us to be thankful for. We live in the United States of America, but yet we complain. Instead, we should have a huge list of things to be thankful for. Last week, I went on a business trip with my whole family. It was me and Dasha and three of our kids with carry-on luggage. But the flight was canceled due to weather. Then the second one was canceled. Then we were rerouted to another airport, and we didn't have a car rental because they ran out of all, all their car rentals. So we had to take our own car to a different airport, and our flight back was back to State College. And then we finally get to the other airport, and in the morning with no sleep, we missed that other flight because they said that those seats were taken because we were, we were rerouted in the last minute. So we had to wait for hours till we get the, our first flight. Then we finally get our first flight. Then we fly to Atlanta, and we had to wait for, for additional like three or four hours. And let me tell you, our little Joshua wasn't ready for the second flight. But instead of being frustrated... We were actually grateful that we got the back 
of the plane because there was the engine there and it was so loud nobody can hear Joshua's complaints. And he was able to roam in the back. With a grateful attitude, you're able to see things to be grateful for. It didn't end there. We finally get to the hotel. With our luggage, we open the door. It's the wrong room. They gave us a, a wrong room. Somebody already took that room. So with our luggage, back to the lobby. But yet we had smiles on our faces. And we were grateful that they actually gave us a free night. Then a little bit later... In the middle of the night, the alarm went off. On the 18th floor, you can't use the elevator. Three kids going down with all the other guests complaining around us, but we weren't going to let this ruin our trip. No, no, no. Instead, we took it as a learning experience. And we told our children, we said, hey, what can we learn from this? If next time this was a real, an emergency, what can we do better? And then we had one day, actually, in Texas that was actually good weather. And we thought, our, our last day, we'll enjoy all day at the pool. And we get to the pool, and guess what? It's closed that day. It said, closed for, for maintenance. But instead of being upset, we decided, you know what? Let's just take this day and go for a nice walk. And not to mention, on the way back, we had to split up with Dasha on two separate planes to two separate airports. But enough of our story. We were just thankful that we got back home safe and we made great memories. And don't misunderstand. We don't always get it right. But the thing that helped us from the beginning was the first time we had our canceled flight, we said... With a grateful attitude, every delay is from the Lord. And with our kids, we kept saying, every delay is from the Lord. And with that attitude, we were able to sustain the entire trip with that attitude. If we find ourselves in difficult situations, not the ones that are, that are in sin. When we're in sin, we know why those situations and those difficulties came upon us. But when in, in life we find us, ourselves in difficult situations... And most of the time, what do we do? We start thinking, is this God's will? Is this God's will? Maybe, why is this happening to us? But we don't have to worry about that because God's will is clear in his scriptures. It says God's will is that we give thanks in all circumstances. That's his will for us. So next time we're facing a hard situation, instead we should be thankful. And letting God know, I don't understand why this is happening, but I thank you. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let's pray.